Hey yo, what's up my beloved champions fam? It's the bad guy WWE champion Zeke 4 0 back with a brand new video. And as you all can see, we got a brand new tour added to the collection of the Story of Tiffy Time limited time tours for this weekend debut of modern era acrobat, the fly waifu herself, Tiffany Stratton, Tiffy Time. So with this one, we are going to need to use some powerhouses, but to get those bonus resources, we can't just use any old powerhouse. We need to bring in the Summer of Darkness MLC free-to-play champion in modern era powerhouse Brutus Creed, the Creed Brothers. Now, I do have an ultimate strap on him. This strap is going to be allowing him to do 40% more gem damage. Aside from that, with the debut of Tiffany Stratton within the loot banners, Brutus Creed is also on that banner. And if you are able to pull him at a high rarity, you are guaranteed to walk away with his gear, which I believe is going to allow you to do 50% more gem damage. But we're not even worried about gem damage in this build. This is going to be a short, sweet, and brief video for the simple fact of the super sub, the, the super submission build that I got going on here. And this is what we're going to run. Now, obviously... We got plus 99 MP, so everything's going to be able to go off right out of the gate anyway. But lo and behold, this is what I got established for him. We have the Butterfly Suplex dealing damage and increasing our red, uh, red MP, our red move points by 7. Then we have the Overhead Belly to Belly Suplex dealing damage and allowing us to choose a 4x1 area to swap into red. You got to love it when you can choose the area. Cascades can still happen. It can still be a thing, but at least you you have the option to pick after you survey your gem board but this is the piece of resistance right here we have the torture rack shout out the lex luger this is what we're going to be doing here generating 32 random submission gems and dealing 353,000 damage for eight turns while submission gems are on the board any remaining submission gem is going to be turned into a column break gem. So obviously with the plus 99 MP, if they survive, the, the survive, right? With all those column break gems on the board, they're not the opposition is not going to break them all. So whatever's left over, we easily just go ahead and use the overhead belly to belly suplex to choose a area to make in the red gems um, where there's some column breaks. And then obviously that would allow us to deal some extra damage, especially with that ultimate strap on. But this is why this is the super sub build. We have my boy float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, rumble, young man, rumble, legend striker, Muhammad Ali. Any colored uh, submission moves will do 100% more damage per turn. Then we have the original king of cheesing content and champions, Attitude Era Powerhouse, Zombie Stone Cold Steve Austin red submission moves last three more turns and red submission moves will do 20% more damage per turn and then on the coaching side oh we are getting by someone's getting body today because we're just hitting them up hit them up we have the ultimate disruptor modern era acrobat Logan Paul any color gem uh, any color submission moves pardon me will do 50% more damage per turn and any color submission move will last an additional turn. So we are just rolling in the turns that 350k in these type of uh, type of matches especially for the mlc free to play champion it's going to be a cakewalk the most it's going to the longest thing that's going to be out of this out of this in video is literally me just breaking everything down to you because you're going to see what kind of shenanigans we can get into here but last and certainly not least we got the almighty modern era powerhouse bobby lashley Red submission moves do 50% more damage per turn, and red submission moves last a one more turn. So we got all these turns going on here, and that's a grand total of eight. Now, there are some alternatives. Obviously, you have Modern Era Acrobat Shelton Benjamin allowing you to utilize additional submit submission uh, move damage and you have on the trainer side because shelton is a coach on the trainer side you have attitude era striker stone cold steve austin where he beefs up any submission move damage any color 
up by 50%. If there's others that I'm missing, I do apologize. But those are the ones that come to mind when it comes to just key damage. And you already know how it goes with my videos. When it's normal mode or hard mode gameplay, it's autoplay all day. But when it comes to hell mode, we lock and load, we smash gems and watch the damage explode. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on in here and knock this out. No lie, Brutus Creed is a solid NLC champion. If you don't got a good powerhouse, I recommend investing him and give investing in him and getting him up as high as possible. But the key thing here for me from what I've seen in videos is obviously he's going to need his gear. The gear is going to allow him to go over the top, just similar to how Legend uh, Powerhouse Seeker was, Rest in Paradise, it, with the same concept where he got a, 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 a big buff. Big buff back in the day, right? Before people cared about 50 percentage or, you know, percentile gem damage trainers and coaches. Sika got the gear that beefed up his red, uh, his red gem by 50%. Brutus is getting, I believe, 50% all the way around the board, especially when you're utilizing those column break gems. You're hitting a, a, for a whole bunch, so you're going to be able to cover a wider area, and you're going to be able to knock things out, so you're just going to be re wreaking havoc. So the gear for him is just as important as it was for Sika, and I just want to make sure we're going to go in here and check the card just to see if anything changed with it because I know that they changed things for Julius Creed but I want to make sure I don't want to lie to y'all okay so in here it's saying like on the blog it was saying I believe it was 50 or 75 here it's telling you hey all color gems will do 500% more damage that's absolutely crack so again the gear is if you get the gear you are in the clear that's basically what i'm getting from here with this scopely things are subject to change but it's still there so let's go ahead and knock out the miz obviously this isn't the op miz that we all went after with the moment and everything this is just a rando miz in a, um a spy a man in disguise, you know what I mean? Imitator, not the originator. And again, he's not going to make it. There's too many submission um, gems on the board, and he's lasting for eight turns. He's not going to survive. It's done. So this is me. Now, obviously, not everyone has Muhammad Ali. Not a lot of people have Logan Paul, or they might because of the simple fact that Logan Paul has been available in the... In this guaranteed superstar, uh, the guaranteed six star gold superstar loot. And I'm loving that backdrop. I'm so proud of the champions doing their thing. Finally incorporating that. Finally getting that in the, in the mix when it comes to like having a themed um, wall screen or wallpaper for different MLCs. I pray that they continue that. Like, you know, if it's some downtime during an update, yeah, bring back the old school one. But obviously, more than likely, because this is the crossover event, the collaborative event of the MLCs, um, obviously, we're getting something special. But then again, bring this back. For anniversary, bring this back for spring outbreak, bring this back for Halloween, bring this back for Christmas. There are a lot of spots where they can do this and utilize this and bring this forward. So I'm just hoping that they do that. So carrying cross, the end is definitely near. It is here. It's over. But look, this guy is really good just being around like this. And again, if you get the gear, I would recommend using him. He's a fun guy. He's a cool dude. He's Brutus Creed. And this is what I like. If you're going to make characters that a lot of people are looking around or asking, like, who's this guy? Who's he? You definitely should invest in making them worthwhile or giving it incentive. The same thing the way of how Julius was monstrous. Julius is a monster still. I feel the same thing. Like, having that gear to go after, the, and even with the freebie and Ozzy, definitely going to take Ozzy up. From what I'm seeing and from what I heard on Champions Chat's uh, latest, uh, latest podcast, breaking things down, I do believe Ozzy Osbourne will, get, go, will revert back to normal trickster tokens if you do not get the fuses. And another idea that people have been bringing up, and I'm going to drop it here as we close this video out, is um, a lot of people have been saying, look at the milestones if you get further ahead with, by getting the items and everything needed for Ozzy's um, content, right? Look at the milestones. And when you claim him, 
claim him at the highest rarity that you can and then go back and claim the other posters of him so you can use those shards to fuse him up or to cover moves if you're low on tp so that is that is genius like of like i do not know i literally came across it in my um in my faction in w o broken skulls chat general chat and on discord and someone literally recommended that they were like hey look how about this how about you get as high as you can claim the 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 highest uh, star rarity poster so let's say they give it to you they give them to you at four star bronze then of course there's silver and gold then it goes up to five star all the way up to six star maybe you get to the six star poster claim the six star go uh, the six star poster first then go after you recruited them at four a four star bronze right if that's the case Claim him at six star and then go back and claim all the other posters of him. So then that converts them into shards and then you are covered to take him either to take him up to the six star silver, six star gold if you can't get that far or the color or color TP variant that you don't have enough of. So that is something just to suggest, just something to suggest. All right. But look, it's over. The story of Tiffy Times is over that quick. Brutus Creed is a monster. I like him. I enjoy him a lot. Again, I got lucky by getting the 40% gem damage strap on him. And um, kudos to anybody who's able to pull his gear and get him uh, get him rocking and rolling. Kudos to those who were able to get him at five-star rarity so you can claim the first week five-star medallion. As well as if you got him at a higher star rarity because he is going to be needed for every weekend's content because there's always going to be a tour for the NLC free-to-play champion. But that is the video, y'all. Super sub build worked out absolutely incredible. Kudos to everybody who decides to go and pull off for Tiffany Stratton. I Again, I look at it and I this is how I look at it. If you get if you go in a vessel on that on that banner, make, make the smart move. If you're low on TP, then go for that acrobat uh, that acrobat bundle. It comes with tokens and over 8k blue TP. TP is gone in 60 seconds, especially when it comes to this game. But if you're low on TP and that's a color that you need, let alone for uh, uh, Tiffy Times triple blue uh, move set, there you go. If you are close to pulling and recruiting um, Charlotte Flair, go for that offer. If you got the medallions, if you get the medallions, you put in the work, you got the superstars, so you can get close or recruit Charlotte or close to recruiting Canadian icon Trish, then that's how you got to play it. Know your spots and play them well. But we played ours well, and this is I'm, I said it was going to be short, sweet, and brief, so let's go ahead and I will bid you adieu right here now because, hey, yo. Hard work pays off. Dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love and respect to each and every single one of you of my beloved champions fam. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like the video, share the video, and most importantly, because it doesn't cost you a thing, Subscribe to the channel so you can always be up to date on what's coming next from yours truly, the bad guy of WWE Champions, Zeke 40, the most electrifying content creator in WWE Champions Entertainment. Love you all, respect you all, praying for you all, and have an amazing weekend. Get your showdown uh, cleared, get as many milestones as you can, and even after you're done, do what you need to to help out your faction fam. I love you. Stay blessed up. Till next time, stay tuned. Peace.